Oh, hi everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... It's a mighty Lieutenant Rakir at your service. And welcome back to Dave the Diver on, well, an extra stream day since tonight I'll be leaving to London with the family for a few days vacation there. So, yeah, I thought we might as well get some some streams done in the main week here, even if it means that we're streaming three days in a row. But, oh well. And, yeah, also, in a bit of good news, I've gotten some calls about potential jobs, uh, though, of course, due to vacation, won't be able to... <laughs> we they won't be able to move further with that until we're back of course so next week i'll know if yeah any of that will go anywhere or not and yeah for now right. welcome back to dave the diver for stream number 13 if i have my numbers correct now <laughs> so Hopefully. yeah let's continue um, on oh, oh, oh. Get... we might stream Valheim later in the evening, Maybe. or more Dave the Diver. And we'll see. It'll be parsed for what I, if I feel up for it, or if there's yeah, time for it. Like, the packing is mostly done. It's not like we're going for, like, two months or something, so it's only hand baggage. Yeah, exactly. Hence why it's using the term maybe. Yeah. So Most of my stuff is packed. Stone. The only thing I need to put in more, the only thing I need to really put in is some uh, extra stuff like earbuds and such. But beyond that, everything should be ready. And Otto has something to say? Okay. But he did get, he did just get reunited with his son uh, last time. No new stuff in this. Oh, hello. Growth fertilizer. Accelerates plants growth. Yeah, accelerates plant growth. The effect of a fertilizer lasts a day and can only use one kind of fertilizer at a time. Pest fertilizer makes plants resistant to pests. Okay, harvest up. Increases the yield. Okay, and nutrient compost. A fertilizer that enriches the soil by providing nutrients. Okay. Oh, that's pretty expensive. And here we go. Now we can get ourselves a second field. And yeah, just the uh, eggs. Okay. The average human being consumes 9 kilograms of eggs in a single year. <laughs> okay. And then a grade A egg. Okay. I'm guessing he started uh, with chickens nearby. Hmm. Okay. Let's get some of these. And yeah. Oh. oh, is that for the entire field? Okay. And I'm guessing this little thing here notifies what is being used or something. Because we're probably going to need to up the uh, nutrient values of the soil eventually. Okay, I, I thought it would be... Uh, yeah, I'd need... <laughs> One for each little plant. I can't glad it's for the full uh, field. No. Yeah. Hmm. I don't explain what nutrient means in this case. Like, we know it's good, but in what way? Like, is it at a quality or...? Yeah, I'm guessing more just... Uh, just more. That's if the nutrients are low, or actually, it might also affect how quickly things grow. Okay. Possibly. Now, first up, let's put this on the menu as well. Oh yeah, the goblin the, shark. Uh, oh, that's modeling <clears throat> thing. Okay, ten of that. Maybe not the best time to put that on, but okay. No. Uh, let's see. Price, yes, we're focusing on marlin and sailfish. Let's see, we have marlin meat here. A lot. Oh, yeah, which means that we can upgrade. I don't think we've seen this one in a bit. Okay. Uh, also, something I should note is that the this stream might be shorter, depending on, well, dinner and such. 
Okay, we can add that a few more times. Looks like we can probably enhance a hell of a lot. Actually, with some luck, we might be... Oh, yeah, we're... there we go. 250 taste. Okay. And... Okay, let's enhance one more time, and then we're just putting all of it on. There we go. 300, 305 taste. Yeah, we've got the new ranking. Holy. Okay. Then we have the sailfish. We can also upgrade a few times. Probably, again, overdoing it with how much we're serving. But better too much than too little. Yeah, and it's the theme of this festival, so we probably want those for... Well, whatever bonuses we do get. Yeah. Okay. I think that should cover it. I don't want to dilute things too much by putting things on that would not... that would lower our profits by pulling away from these. And, uh, okay, there's a little bow tie next to them to show that the, they... Therefore, they're getting bonuses or going to get ordered more for uh, because of the event. Were they on here okay, as well, nice. or did I just overlook that? Oh, oh, no, they're here. Okay. Let's see. If we had more recipes, if we had uh, the other ingredients. And just as a last backup, and since it's also very pricey, I'll put one of those on, or rather six of those. Okay. Now, let's take a look. Uh, yeah, we wanted to train one of our new people, El Nino, up. Because they have skills that are very useful to us. Or they're going to have skills that are very... Yeah, drink serving master. Yep. Yeah. So they... They should be able to take care of at least the green tea for us. Uh, though I did look up finally how to bloody serve the beer, and apparently it's better to tap it instead of, well, holding it down. Which is rather dumb if you ask me. Okay, one more. Okay, you have a serving of 440 now. Let's see, you are even better than Raptor in that. Okay. Uh, but yeah. So he has Cleaning Master, Billy has Cleaning Master, so we can swap you out with El Nino. Okay. Let's see, nobody else has anything at the moment. We could probably train a few more people up to see what their second skills are. Uh, again, I would I would have liked it if you could see somewhere what they well what they well, what their stats would be and what their second what their skills would be. Yeah, um, like you only get to see it when you're about to hire them. Yeah, is that you are, you are a great cook. You are another good cook, but not as good. Yone. I get the feeling this is this might be another uh, YouTuber appearance or something, or VTuber yeah, maybe. Long traps. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we we sh let's let's see. Does anyone have better cooking at the oh, moment? Wait, do remember, we will be able to later unlock a third slot for cooks. Maybe if I read that correctly. Also, I forgot to turn off the extra things on the. You, on the power port or the powered USB port, so I'm just going to do that for a second. I say that because I noticed the uh, a bit of stutter in my my in my headset. There we go. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I think for now we we will need to look for someone to replace Raul eventually. Actually, let's see. How are you people? Nope, not higher. 901 on cooking. Just way better than Raul. 
in that regard. Okay, so she is the best cook of these at the moment. And let's see, Cooking 5% and chance to... Hmm. And increase the quality permanently as well. She's not to scoff at. Yeah, cooking plus plus and 5% chance to increase the number of plates served from one while serving. Hmm. Let's see. Just for this, let's upgrade you a little bit more. There we go. Now, oh, actually, before anything else. We're going to send people off to find stuff. Uh, let's see, yeah. we're low on salt. Let's send you two we... out for that. I don't think we should investigate what uh, our, all the upgrades we will get uh, once we rank up more. Hmm. As in uh, the restaurant itself. We're pretty sure we will get a further coup slot. I think, yeah, I think that was what it meant, but it might not be. Okay, you two go for turmeric. Okay, that's everyone going. I can hold for okay. From what I've seen, it looks like we have a space for that. Okay, just getting this all tagged off. There we go. We could probably put a bit into the uh, into the, the interior a bit more. Uh, let's see. Oriental Modern. Hmm. Oh, it's got, oh right, right, we have the, uh, we have something new here. But I, actually, no, we have everything that could be unlocked here. Yeah, no, it's the, <laughs> it's the squid portraits. Okay. There's the vinyl records. Got the plants. I don't think it'll be. A, I don't think it's the best time to put up some Christmas stuff. It would be rather early. Yeah. And there's a few more here to be unlocked. Hmm. Let's go with. Now let's go with I this see, one. I just realized. Why are the bottles up there? Uh, I'm thinking those are mostly for show or used for seasoning or something, but mostly for show. Okay. Now double checking. Uh, something new here. Upgrades. Uh, the sniper rifle can be upgraded. Shock sniper rifle. Okay. Hmm. Still getting some interference. Is anything else on? Neat. And the buttons are facing away. So, but the, there are lights on this. But okay, none of them are on except for the dongles. Hmm. Okay. Uh, any progress in this? Yeah. Uh, strapped catfish. This fish is about 20 to 40, 30 centimeters long and has four pairs of whiskers around its mouth. It tends to move around in groups. Okay, that doesn't say why it's so freaking aggressive for, for no apparent reason. And yeah, electric stingray found in the eastern Atlantic to South Africa. Mainly nocturnal and hides in the ground, then it emits yeah, 70 to 80 volts of electricity when hunting prey. And yeah, I think that was the thing that did... Uh, Steve Irwin in because he got unlucky and it stabbed him in the heart or something. Uh, I think it was a, a different stingray, but I want this more poisonous. Okay. Why is there something still noted as new here when I'm not even not seeing any new stuff? Oh, I must have skimmed over it there. Uh, let's see. Seahorse. Giraffe seahorse. Okay. Isn't as large as a giraffe, contrary to its name. It is short, but apparent like a giraffe at least. Okay. There was news recently of a giraffe that was born without any spots, apparently. <laughs> okay. A bit rare. Uh, enough. We can turn that in. There we go. Slowly but surely creeping closer to that. 
Okay, they want us to get rid of blue spotted stargazers and fang tooth. Okay. Right. Oh, hold on. Actually, how are we looking on the uh, ranking in general? Let's see. Cook's down. Yep. Actually, we could rank up right now. <laughs> there we go. I like that these are different each time. A Bancho Sushi Regular. Chief Platinum Ranking Cookster. Okay. New recipes. Seahorse Udon. Black Vinegar Braised Parrotfish. Atlantic Bonito Curry. And Humphead Parrotfish Curry. Okay. Oh, more with... Oh, yep. Yeah. Cooking slots. And added interior pieces. Okay. Hmm. Okay, no, no, now I wonder... Can we put a new chef in... That link or that we might need that. Yeah, we should get more customers now. Uh, yeah, so we send most of our people can. off, though. Uh, uh, let's. Wait. We, we can How hire this work? guy, though. Wait, that's not something weird. Hmm? The sushi bar. Or it's still? Uh, no. Hmm? Or it, does or... it only count next uh, time? Maybe. Okay. Hmm. Or maybe it, now it's not a new ingredient slot because we since we opened those up. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll see next time. Let's see, twenty-four. Yeah, we have we should have more than plenty. So here we go. El Nino should be able to wrestle all the drinks, <laughs> figuratively or literally. Yep, he's just zooming. Okay. okay uh, uh, yeah, Nino is taking care of that. Okay. Uh, yeah, we will probably have to upgrade Raptor a bit, but he is keeping he is keeping up with the orders. Okay. Yeah, this is looking good. Right, let's. Stopping a little bit early stops the animation. Oop. There's a space that needs to be cleaned. We can oh, still be the yeah, miss make a mistake coming here. What? Okay. It took off work to come. Oh. Okay, is Nino just not that good at serving drinks or something? Or is something okay. you're missing here? Yeah, there's, nobody's gone without whatever they wanted. Hmm. Yeah, d just because he serves drink doesn't mean he has to be great at it. Let's see, how was the score? Okay. Oh, hello, 21,000. And despite uh, those complaints, we still almost got back to five stars. I think we have a new team up there. Uh, oh no, th those are the f those are from the party, the, f the sale, yeah, the Marlin party. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, we, uh, we got seven thousand from the Marlin sushi. Yeah, that was that was a good. That was really good. Okay, we do have two thousand. Uh, in daily expenses though, but if we can keep our profits like this, if even the profits half of this, since well this is a part, this was a special out for us, uh, we should be more than clear for the rest of the game. Yeah. All right. Storm time. Oop. Hello. Hello, Dave. Have a good night's sleep. Have have a good night's sleep. Yes, did you spend enough time talking with Sammy yesterday? <laughs> of course, we had not seen each other for so long before yesterday, so we definitely had a good time. 
By the way, I want to show you something. Um, Come to the farm if you have time. Okay, is this going to be about the fertilizers or something? Nope, nope, oh, oh there's where, that's where the chickens. <laughs> okay, Sammy's staying. Okay. But they can't still do music while on the farm. Yeah. Huh? Chickens? And, uh, Sammy? What happened to your clothes? Shut out. Hey, yo, I oh. talked to my pops yesterday and got all sentimental, you know what I'm saying? Oh. I became a rapper because I love music, but I got tired of that celeb life. I think we could use them to uh, cook with. Uh, I'll give them to you when uh, you, uh, when you get here. Take them to cook. Uh, okay, I think a bit of dialogue was missing there. Yeah. I don't think we're supposed to cook celebrities. Yeah. <laughs> so you quit music? Yeah. No, no. I will stay here to enjoy my rural life and nature while writing new songs. Yeah. yeah. You know, I can release new songs at any time online these days. It's so easy to do that. Mm. Yeah. Damn true. By the way, what's up with that chicken? Um, <laughs> I shared some food with neighbors and they gave me this chicken in return. Uh -huh. I wanted to make a yummy fried chicken, but my son wanted to let it lay eggs. <laughs> and he made a chicken farm overnight. He reminds me of my son yourself. <laughs> and I got inspiration from the rhythm of the hammer, you know? <laughs> it warms my heart to see you and your son together. Um, Speaking of the chicken, from now on I will offer you eggs at my farm. <laughs> we was a bit early with that yesterday. Oh, eggs, you say? Mm. I can't give you more or than one egg because there's only one chicken on the farm. Um. If you want more chickens, ask Sammy. Sure. Remember, remember, only one chicken, one egg per chicken a day, no more. Yeah. There are two grades for eggs, grade A and B. Grade, uh, good grade chickens lay good grade eggs. Yeah. You will stay here with my pops. Come visit me often, yo. Thanks, huh? Oh, dear. <laughs> Bunches menu will be expanded for sure. It's, you can now raise chickens. You can acquire eggs in the morning, try developing new recipes. Okay. What was that thing? Okay. Yeah, Garlic. Well. Yeah. And let's plant some egg plants. And Otto has something to say. And now he has something new. Okay, bean seeds, cherry tomato seeds. Uh, onion? Didn't? Okay, I don't know. We didn't have onions yet. Okay. Nope. Oh, wait. He, he, okay, he will actually outright sell us these as well if we really need them. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's have a chat with you then and see about getting more chickens. Oh, right. Oh, we can rename them. Okay. Uh, ideas? Oh, oh, oh uh, Something we both blanked on again. We have a new oh, follower. Yeah. Ali Zay here. Thank you for the follow. Sorry for being late with that. That's, that's such a habit for us, huh? Yeah, so I was thinking, all right, this time I'm going to remember what we doing when you were introducing. They were talking talk about something, and I then forgot. Okay. Uh, any ideas for a chicken name? Or shall we just go with something? Please. Uh... <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, let's... Uh, yeah. Okay, if they complain, it's up to you, Ardo. Uh, ravenous list. <laughs> oh, wait. Well, okay, yes, 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 list them. There we go. No. Oh. That has never scolded me. Yeah. He told me to do whatever I want. Oh. The only problem is that he goes on and on. <laughs> Let's see, okay, we can buy new chickens. Free range, high chance of laying grade A eggs. Some chance lays normal eggs. Hmm. Okay, let's do it. Let's do an investment. Get one of these. And... Okay. And one more of these. This way we have a certain... We have... Yeah, we will certainly get eggs each day. This one is just a chance. And it seems that we can have five of each, max. Okay. Uh, any other chicken right. names? Uh, 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 I, uh. I can think of one for this. There. 
<laughs> and then with this one, you can guess from the first letter. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> All of our co hosts. Okay. Oh, uh, good yeah. gods. No. Overcapacity. So let's send some to the kitchen. Keep two breeding pairs. There. Uh, anything over five that gets sent away. Um, actually, I'll keep I'll keep three of these just just so that we just need to get one more row or one more bread of them. Okay, uh, actually no, that's still over. Hmm. We have a good amount of money. Um, we, let's see. Let's upgrade this. Super Aloe Harpoon Gun. And that's maxed out, okay. An air uh, tank. Uh, oh. We're almost running out of money now. Yeah. Okay. I'll call it an investment. Let's see. Uh, how much does it cost to expend? Uh, cheap as all heck. There. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay. Now, clear out some of the extras here. That's a lot of mackerel. No, not all of those, Holy just mackerel. one. There. Yeah, th th this is just really an amazing way of getting you know, supplies so you can actually focus more on uh, yeah, other stuff. If you can yeah, get uh, well, these, of course. His V, it would be hard to do most of the story if not for the, these uh, these farms and all that. Yeah. And I suspect the developers knew this. And also knew that it would probably... So it's also just be end up doing that really g forced grinding. Yeah. Okay. So I think got they a few here. Good flow. Hmm. Does leave me curious what those other areas are for. Uh, let's see. Go to the bar or restaurants. And hello, there, Glacier Boy. You doing well today? Hello, Glacier Boy. Hello, hello. <laughs> I'll satisfy the customers with my signature moves. <laughs> Okay, uh, research. Let's see, boiled and deep-fried white shrimp, fried seahorses, small spotted dart kajime. None of these are particularly high in taste, but this one is high in servings, so actually, how much? Okay, that, okay, these are costing quite a bit. Um, hmm, Let, let's save up for the bigger ones. Let's see, Glacier Boy. Very well, yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's feed the kitty. <laughs> okay. And that's all of our morning stuff done with. Let's see, this is where you sell the fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think I think Bonchi might be a bit insulted if we were to start selling chips. Let's see. But Stop he growing. He's not only serving sushi, though. He is serving curry and all this. True. Oh, so, maybe? <laughs> Bunsu Sushi has a new family. I will take good care of them. <laughs> and of course, the kitten is blurry because they can't sit still. <laughs> and a thousand fifty <laughs> likes. But of course, it's cat, so that's also already <laughs> a thousand likes just on that. Whoa, such a delicious and chewy shark dish. Wait, what kind of shark was this again? Probably better not know. Vegetable sushi made by Mr. Boncho. Yo, I can feel the soul put into it. Oh, we got the platinum trophy. All, th all thanks to all of you. Okay, and now we're really getting noticed. And okay, I like the reflection in the knife. <laughs> Dave, are you just getting extras? 
<laughs> something there with a the little fishing okay. pole. The, okay, the, the, I both like it, but also kind of scary in a way. Yeah. Like, it, it, it's right. like, it looks like a poster for a slasher movie? Maybe. We had this already. Okay, anything in your shop? A scooter, trigger bombs. Let's see if this boy that trophy looked like a weird butt. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? Let's see. We need to get the crowbar, we need to ha hunt some fang tooths, spiders. And yeah. And since the it's a stormy crabs. day, we sh we should be able yeah, spider crab, we should be able to fight a boss. Quote unquote again, maybe. Oh bloody hell. I get I'm totally open for place and we will do it two two times a week anyway, so yeah, you went well, electronic it's, there. It is so relaxing. Like... But I'm guessing what you meant to say was to uh, do a double stream of the day today. Yeah, for it is relaxing. Yeah, you just went all uh, robotic during part of that, but uh, oh, damn it. we can definitely we could definitely do another. We can see if uh, maybe Volheim stream later today. Uh, Glacier Boy could be joining up for that if they want. Oh yeah, we talked about it. Uh, let me uh, him today. They are already being prepping a character for it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. I have done some stuff since the last time that we streamed that. Like I found mountains, I explored mountains, I found dragon eggs. So that is not going to be much of an issue. Uh, let's see. The yeah, fish. we can finally transport the damn dragon eggs through portals. For is the thing, people. If you want to summon a dragon boss, you need three dragon eggs. They will respawn. However, if you you want to transport them from point A to B from an island or something, yeah, you need to bring them by boat. You need to run down the mountain with the egg and all the way to the boat. Yeah, and since they weigh uh -huh. two hundred each, you can't carry that many uh, on your person as you're going. Actually, you can. That's a bot. You will yeah, probably be almost naked while doing it, which is probably oh, well. ill advice in the mountains. Hello. Hammerhead. Hello. And. Yep. I was focusing too much on the. Uh, Oh, he deals a lot of damage. Can I put oh. down... Hello, Marco. Oh, yes. Yeah. Special stream today since tomorrow, Ilya's leaving for London and not back yeah. into set today. So, dog stream today. Possibly. There we go. It's still alive. Okay, it took... <laughs> okay, it just crashed. Okay, that's uh, oh, 210 yes, it's damage it's already. Him as well. yep. I wish it is. I don't think Hammerhead swings their heads like that. Definitely not. <laughs> okay, off you go. And we still need pins from you. So, there. Yep. Uh, let's see. Well, I hope you have a good trip. Thank you, yeah, Marco. Yep. We won't be staying for too long. Just uh, a few days. Um, yeah, we have no need for anything else. Oh, right. Wrong button. Okay, did they at least get a fin from that? Doesn't look like it. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. We need to go find that crowbar. So we can make progress. And other than that, just well, face whatever we find. Or, or yeah, finds our fancy. What kind of boss? Maybe face now. 
I think it might I think it might be too early in the storm for a boss to spawn. I think the last time it had to be a few days before it began. But I might just be getting that wrong. I'm yeah, guessing we would have gotten be. a you have a notification on that. Actually is there anywhere where we can look up our old, uh, the previous tutorials, maybe? Okay, from English for you. Unfortunately, okay, unfortunately, I cannot come tonight as I have a guild event tonight. It's the start of a storyline. Oh, right, yeah, you did say that. Okay. <clears throat> Too uh, bad, it but it's another time no. then. Yep, from Marco. But how are you two doing? Oh, I'm doing well. Yeah, doing well, yeah. Uh, let's see. I think, yeah, that crowbar was over here. Okay. Shark over there. <laughs> okay. Now there it is. Cobra's crowbar. Uh, Cobra's crowbar. Say that five times fast. But it's buried under the rocks. I need to remove the rocks. Okay. So. Get that crowbar free, man. Uh, okay, isn't that enough? Do I just need to move them further away or something? Also, yoink. Okay. Do I need a do I need a pickaxe or something to break? Uh, there we go. I just needed to move them far enough away. Even though one is rolling back already. Up. Hello. Okay, what some cranky heck? crabs. Oops! It looks like I aggravated the colony of crabs. Oh, they look ferocious. I need to deal with them to pick up the crowbar. Uh. <laughs> Music change. Oh, okay. <laughs> they can leap. I guess you need to throw, drop the rocks on them. I'm guessing. Ow. There we go. Yeah, that's probably the only thing tough enough here to break those uh, shells of theirs. It's the goofy song. There we go. Dude, that was a tough fight. Let me pick up the crowbar and go. Wasn't there a third one? Come on. Put your back into it. Uh, there we go. Good, this must be the crowbar that Cobra mentioned. Mm. Why does it look familiar? No, I don't know. <laughs> Let me get to the boat. <laughs> oh, you wonder why it looks familiar. Oh, I wonder why. Okay, let's fill up. Hmm. Okay, is it? It seems to me, weren't those things supposed to fill like half of your oxygen or has that been upgraded at some point, maybe? Maybe? One thing, thing for sure, though. I think Gordon wants his uh, crowbar back. Yeah. And well, oh, it's another hammerhead. Okay, we have another. Oh, there's a. Oh, okay. This is going to get a bit nasty. Okay. Come on, quickly. There. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's dodge the marlin as we fight the shark. I should have enough ammo for this. Uh, there. Bonk. Ah, uh, he's 
almost out. There we go. And off you go. There. All right. Yep. Have we got... Okay, no, oh, those are coral trout, yeah. We've got some of those. They are in one of the good recipes. Okay, uh, out of ammo. Okay, so that the shark took eight shots. Um, out of ammo. Yep. And whilst you get stuck for a moment, or not stuck, okay. There, quickly. There we go. Okay, can we get a fin? Nope. Not your fin. Okay, come on. Oh, okay, it went rather. <laughs> it went. It went. It went quite wide with that attack. Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, Marco. Now yeah, I I th I say we leave that one alone. Let's see, Marco. I said it five times fast and it's not that hard. <laughs> okay. Uh, what was Gordon doing here? Uh, a mystery for the ages. Though that was a crowbar that the uh, cobra ordered. So, we can. Yeah. We went from like 63 kilos of stuff that we could bring along to 94. That's a huge upgrade. Yeah, that's gonna help us a lot, along with the fish farm. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we. There's not much that we. Not much else that we can make progress on, I think. We can so... investigate the deep reserve, see if there's another boss coming around. Unless the boss comes around at the before evening. It wasn't during the evening that one time. I think we'll get a pop-up or something about it. Hopefully. Okay. We need skulls. And we do get some good dishes from them, don't we? Yeah. And they're also really easy to upgrade due to how many we get. Yeah. Glacier Boy, this game is really diverse. It goes from diver to ancient marine civilizations to fanatical co eco warriors and also a seafood restaurant. Yeah, and now there's also horror added in as well at the end. Let's see. Marco Gordon must have gone to retirement and was selling it on eBay. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> With how long it's taken for Half Life 3 to come out, I wouldn't be surprised at all if he went into early retirement. Are they working on one? I have no bloody idea. Like, at, at this point, it isn't really... Uh, it isn't really profitable for Valve to be putting time into game-making themselves. Since, well, they, they make a lot more money just from running Steam. They don't need to make a new game. They could. They did make... Uh, they did make that Half-Life Alex. Alex game somewhat recently. But I think at this point, Half-Life 3, if it were to ever happen, it would be a case of that so much hype has built out of it and so much expectations that it is impossible to live up to it. Uh, Maybe someday they will try it, but oh, still. It got cancelled, unfortunately. Okay. Cancelled. Uh, cancelled. That is a console. Cancelled. What the heck? What the heck? Okay, let's head up. And yeah, let me do a quick look. About the let's see. bosses? Yeah, yeah about reaping or storm bosses. <laughs> Dave the Diver Storm. Stormy Knight. Maybe. Yep, that's the one I ordered. So, you take this to the rock, insert it between the cracks, and pull it hard like this. Then you will be able to take out the rock. 
Nice. And we'll be able to move the mirror with this. That's good. Since you're here, why don't you check your gear? And don't forget to stop by Bancho Sushi. I, I was so bloody. Uh, let's see. Dave the Diver, Stormy Knight. Is this a repeat thing? Fuck off with all your cookie bullshit. Hmm. Okay, is this a repeat thing? Let's see. Need to find the vortex on the far right at an average depth of 25 meters. Okay. Uh, these are some good seahorses, so let's keep those for the races. Okay. Smooth hammerhead row, giant revale row. Actually, where is that note? Here is that note. Do we have any of these that we can scratch off now? Giant revale. Uh, not seeing that on here. What the heck? Coral trout. At this rate, Glacier Boy, I guess we probably should, be, when we start the streaming, don't worry, <laughs> maybe it make me into a tech priest. Just put a tech priest hood on my head. <laughs> and so okay. I'm going to take the mask on my mouth. Uh, Dusky Grouper. Oh, wait, White Trevally. Yeah, White Trevally. Also scratched off. Uh, Dusky Grouper can be scratched off, so they, those should get breeding pairs now. Atlantic Mackerel, we had plenty of. Okay. And uh, let's see. Sally Lightfoot Crab. Okay. Good amount of other meat. 30 hammerheads. Okay. From two, so that's 15 each. Okay. Um, let's see. Is there anywhere? Yeah, tips. Let's see. Sea exploration, Banjo Sushi, da, 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 Sea People Village. Let's see. Fish tracker, no overcapacity. Let's see. Is there anything here about stormy nights? Night diving. Da, da, da. Weekly fishing, that is for that. Parties and events. Yeah, it's for the sushi more. Fish farm, farm. Hmm. Let's see. I'm pretty sure we got a tutorial about the vortex. Or was that just a one time thing? Oh, um, no. Weapon shop, charms. No. Where? Hmm. Let me just do it. Uh, Stormy Night. Stormy Night 2. Okay. Um, hmm. Let me take a look. Uh, uh, fuck off with your cookie bullshit. Oh, okay, I think we'll have to... I think we'll have to risk it. We will have less time at the restaurant now. Let's see, our main Yeah, but equipment. we did earn a fucking good amount of money. And we may have things to boost that up as well. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, let's take this one. And let's take a scooter for dodging. And... Uh, oh wait, it's still the afternoon. So there's not going to be... Uh, okay, kind of... Kind of a waste on the... Uh, on the scooter then. And let's see, that is just TF2 Pyro. Gas mask noises. <laughs> it would make him a Kriegsmarine. Or a... Or, or a Kriegsman. That's... Um... Hmm... Yep. Yep. What the? Okay. Controller lost connection. Is battery running low or something? That's 
that is. Actually, no, that's the wrong connector. And that one's... Is that one done? Oh, no, I just turned it off. Hmm. Okay, I might need to take us. I might need to swap out the batteries in, in a bit, but we'll see about that. Pretty sure we've got, yeah, cardinal fish. We've got those. Now we've got dual, uh, dual, double scooters. Really? Uh, <laughs> Okay, just going to grab whatever we find. And yeah, we'll we'll have to run the, we might mm, I'm I'm guessing that we'll get a notification or something if there's going to be another boss tonight. Uh, uh, let's carve this one. It's of lesser quality. There we go. I hope they do that for this one, I don't know, uh, notifications kind of annoying in some games, but sometimes I prefer them being there just in case. Yeah. Let's see, Marco, I gotta go since it's my turn to make dinner tonight. See ya. Okay, good luck and uh, <laughs> cook well. Yeah, good luck, Marco. And uh, make sure your yeah. food doesn't bite back. There you go. Now, you, we will bring in the drone for. Grab this. And, yeah, we'll see what else we find. Um, yeah, I think we'll probably keep this a bit more shallow with this dive. Oh, there's another one of you. There. And there. Okay. Okay, the harpoon should do 40 damage now, but it did 29 instead. So does the sheep's head ha has 69 health. <laughs> okay. Last number. Let's see. Anything? Yeah, I doubt we're going to find anything new, really. But it's still nice to just look around. Oh, hello there, big boy. Yeah, and the stock cop. For we get the premium pair of those, especially if that sells okay. well. I'm we will be fine with the getting a half amount from Bunch of Sushi Bar. Uh, not half, I think. It is less time, but not half, I believe. Okay. Alright. Well, then, we, we hopefully should be able to at least earn a good amount of money in on the other nights, be able to uh, recover quickly. Yeah. Like, we made 21,000, so we should be good on that for a bit. Sniper rifle. Where did I leave the... Why don't I leave the rifle over here? Okay. And I spy a little thing here. Drink. Okay, that one, the batfish. That big of a harpoon against that tiny fish? Yeah. But there's a bit of an old kill. No, where's that shark? We have enough bullets to deal with it. We have a refill there. Oh, there you are. There we go. Now carve away. Hammerhead meat. 13 kilos, okay. Wait. That was 13 twice. Yep, so we've got 26 kilos of shark meat with us. <laughs> lightning tip harpoon, or lightning harpoon tip. Let's see, anything? Oh, Travales. Yep. 
freaking cobblefish. There. Okay. Far view up. For five kilos each. And it looks like we got a. <laughs> yeah, we, we had a bit of a. Oh, no. We had a collateral damage there with a little something that I picked up. Okay. I'll take you all the same. There. Okay. And. Yeah, let's grab one of these. That should fill us up. Still got it. Okay, Spanish mackerel? Okay, uh, we don't have a use for that. And since you're here all the same, uh, I can miss. There. Okay. And out, with over a hundred kilos of fish. <laughs> oh, and knickknacks, but still. Okay, are we going to be told about a possible vortex today? Or tonight? We're keeping these. Okay. Oh, yeah, good amount of meat from all of that. We've got another <laughs> shark, uh, reef shark heads. Uh, let's see, carnal, sheep throw, narrow barred Spanish mackerel. Okay. Not a breeding pair of that, but still good. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, he's... Yeah, we're... He's out here looking for the, fi the fish cards. Wow, it's a nasty trump today. Now you again. Looking for a super rare boss card as usual? <laughs> I felt an energy of something extremely powerful today. Yeah, I can't help you today. Vortex. Remember the Vortex. The storm is getting strength. I will see you around. <laughs> okay, yeah. Thank you, game, for the notification. Okay, that's a good notification. Storm Knight 2. Okay. Yeah, we're going for a boss for the... Actually, yeah, the bosses can help us with money as well. Yeah, since they give us very good recipes. Or ingredients. Um... Let's go to auto first. And let's see, you can raise up to five chickens per breed. Okay. Now, carrots are done. Hmm. Looks like the nutrient bar has gone up. I'm, I'm guessing that is in part because we've done different things. I believe yeah, if you I see keep playing. Sorry. We need to clean out uh, the rice. Yeah. And, oh yeah, we need 7,000 for another field. And just Sammy being there. <laughs> it just does not look to fit at all the way he's dressed. There we go. Okay. Back to the boat. Oh. Time to hunt something big. I'm curious what it will be. Uh, I already know because if well the search that Mark said it, it rather yeah gave it a, the search you know, thing gave it away. But yeah, this is something terrifying. You know, that's and yeah, it's only one third of the evening working hours, not half. So they're still okay, that, that, pretty generous with good. that. Yeah, they're still generous with that. Very generous. Let's see, its head contains sensory organs, so it's, yeah, the, the, it, it's, the hammerheads don't just look that to look silly or anything. They actually have extra, they actually have, yeah, like it said, sensory organs in there. I believe for electromagnetic things or something, it makes them really something. good at finding stuff. 
I think oh, yeah. they use it to look for things under the sand. I thought it was a while. That was the shock stuff. Yep. We're not going after a boss with the little net gun. That'd be a sight. If that little net it just lands on your nose, <laughs> then growls angrily. White shrimp. Okay. Oh, damn it. I thought I was using the harpoon. There. Okay. Let's see. Conglish boy, I need to get going to feed my dogs. Have a good one. Be oh, safe, pleasure boy. Okay, see you next time. Uh, shocking stick. Oop. I would go after. Actually, you're just a reef shark. Just a reef shark, still a shark. Yep. Yep. Just short there. <laughs> it was practically tickling its nose. Speaking of, uh, if you. One way to. Uh, uh, but freaking. Battery. Uh, okay. So, batteries out, and into the charger, and just for this kind of occasion, I'd actually bought a new set of rechargeable Duracells, so just pop that open. Oh dear. There we go, this should ensure that we do not run low for the rest of the stream. There we go. Reconnect. That that was just that was just a bad, just not bad. Terrible timing. Okay. Up uh, now. Okay. One more hit should kill you. Or, or not? Didn't you have only like 120 health? Uh, out. No, you have more. Do you have more health because it's night? Hmm. Okay, let's go find some oxygen. Right there. <laughs> Thank you, game. Okay. No. Oh, I can hear the vortex already. Is this going to be a weapon upgrade? Okay, it's a harpoon upgrade. Yeah, I see a box here. And yeah, it sounds like the vortex is underneath us. Oh, I'll take that. Yep. Let's head to the vortex then, I guess. Okay, this is going to suck for the boss. Yep. I ended up in a strange space again. Mm. Well, this place looks uninhabited. Upgrade? No. What the? Oh, <laughs> no! Wait, what? <laughs> Mantis shrimp. Uh, I didn't expect a boxing mantis shrimp, though. Mm. Huh? A crawfish wearing a pair of boxing gloves? Mm. I think I know what it is. It must be a mantis shrimp. Mm. But its size is unreal. Mm. I guess it could crush me with one hit. Mm. It would be nice if I could find something tough to block that thing's punches. Uh, something tough? Uh, like a, like a claw? Ooh. Oh, oh, even the waves from its point. Oh, oh, there, no, there's, spi there's spikes there. That's what's happened. Mm. Mm. 
Is this the thing that we need to do to... Yeah, ow. ow, ow. Hmm. Yep, okay, go for the eyes. Okay. Oh, now it's bank. Oh, ammo, thank you. And there's something up there. Yeah, a hook for us to hang on to. Because oh, I'm guessing. Oh, pull down. You're pulling down the, the hook. Oh, oh okay. I, I thought we had to hang on to that to tra try and not get uh, swept away or something. Out of ammo, out. Okay. Come on. Okay, not enough. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Give me that. Yeah, when it puts up its gloves like that, it's going to punch to where we were when it pulls back like that. Not where we are. See? Ooh. And if we get some air... Oh, oh, yeah, definitely. Out. Uh, air or... yeah, air. Ow. Okay. Do we even have enough time to pull that thing out? To pull that thing down up? Or we just shoot it in the eyeballs and just kill it that way, okay. Phew, that was close, and he's actually right this time. There must be something worth picking up. Let's see, what can we carve from you? Mantis shrimp tail. <laughs> I guess that should be enough. I should go up and tell Sato. I actually thought we were going to lose that. Yeah, same. Okay, there, there, turn you into scrap. Hmm. Wait, that, actually that one did more damage. That had 19 to 57. So that, that was an upgraded triple axel. Okay. Alright. Uh, While we're here, might as well grab as much as we can before we go into Banjo. Yep. Says why not? Yep. We can get some more rays. Or we can get some more more rays. There. We've got one of its jawbones. Let's see, I don't think we can go down into the depths while this night, because it's already dark, and it would be even darker down there, so we would be completely vulnerable. Yeah. There we go. I'll take that. It doesn't have the stun effect, but it's, do it's double damage. Okay. Let's see, how deep can we actually go? There's an escape point for us. And then for Sniper. So I'm more interested in the fish. Oop, like you. Uh, keep that long nose of yours away, Pinocchio. Yep. There we go. 
go. If we get some roe from them, we'll have a breeding pair. And we have some soy sauce to go along with the shark. Of course. And hello. Skeleton. He's tend to fade into the I background a bit. Kind of, yeah. But yeah, I think seaweed is still important since we do need it as ingredient for the uh, more advanced food. Oh, okay. The restaurant, the okay. restaurant is still open. Let's not go too far. Okay, so it's less a, less a thing of it's too dark, more if it's a thing it would take too long to go back if we went too deep. Okay. okay. Almost detail. As detail. Okay, that was a little noise off on my right ear with that. Sounded like a sort of squeal or whine. You also heard that. Okay. What? Now I heard it to the left. Do certain fish make sounds like that? Of course, to try and help us find them. Or is that them spawning in or something? Like with the, the tuna and the marlins that they typically have a, a rushing sound when they spawn in. Maybe? I didn't hear it a second time though. Oh, hello, you're big. Hello indeed. What are you? Angry. That is what they are. Oh. And I'm going to guess is that that is idea? actually toxic. Or poison. Come here, you. Oh, another one of you. No. Oh, he's actually dealing damage to us as we're grabbed. Okay. Oop. Ah, oh, damn it. You're some... You're a very big vampire fa uh, squid or something. I One that actually sucks blood. Yeah, that's not a vampire squid. For they will have webbed tentacles. Oh yes, I did say webbed tentacles. Miss. There we go. Now what are you? Okay, big enough to be ne to need the drone. Humbled squid meat. I almost forgot that species. Yeah, that's an ace indeed. What I'm not heard that name in ages. Okay. I'm going. Humbled sounds familiar to me. Yeah, they're one of the very large species. Yeah, possibly one of the sources of a uh, kraken mitts or something. Yeah, possible. Pink seashell. We need those. Okay. Let's take a look around here. Okay. This should be the limestone cave, I think, though it didn't pop up with the name this time. Possibly because the usuals who would be out at, uh, during the day aren't out during the night. So it doesn't really give a change in who's around. See, get out of the stream. Hmm. Okay, for once it's not aiming at something spiky.
Okay, I think that'll be enough for now, unless we run into something on the way out. Oop. And we run into something on the way out. There. They may be the, the Titan trigger fish, but uh, it's my oop, it's my trigger that beats theirs. Okay, tranquilizer harpoon tip, and you are new. That you might are... be a uh, fox shark. Or well, a leopard shark? They're not hostile on their own. Then again, we've seen fish without uh, the hostile bib over their head go hostile. Bonk. Narrow dodge, narrow miss. You want to go in for a bite, don't you? Oh, we want a bite of you. So I'm worried about aggressive whale sharks. There we go, last bullet. Zebra shark. Wait, what? There's no similarity to zebras that much, I'd say. Hmm. Like, have you been saying they say leopard or jaguar shark? Fine. But zebra? Really? Yeah, I don't see it. I know what you did there. I know what you did there, Helian. Let's see. Going to grab whatever we can. Uh, oh. No real need for that, I'd say. Yeah, I think we need to start to get this, uh, get to, to the surface. We're all getting to be there. Yep, oh. Wait a minute. That's some sort of key thing there. Okay. Yeah. Wait, so is that going to be related to the pirates or the eco dudes? Perhaps. Hmm. Well, no, no. We need to get out. You're yeah. carrying too much. We're, yeah, 20 meters down. We can just head for the surface. And we yeah. practically did a circle. Because we're close to... Okay, that sounded like something spawning, or maybe there was noise of the wa of the rain on the water. I almost said on the water on the of the water on the rain. <laughs> okay, Sato is going to be jelly. Yes, this is a mantis shrimp boss card. I haven't seen it even at the gym. Oh, I mean the gym I work out at. <laughs> totally not the uh, Pokemon gym. Okay, look, if you transfer this card using share... Okay, I got it. See you then, keep in touch, keep collecting cards. Okay. Again, we're keeping these. We can make them our little mascots whilst they're in the bag. Okay, white shrimp. Humboldt. And the zebra. Okay. Yeah, I'm guessing as new things are spawning during the day, that new things are also spawning during the night. And there's something at this restaurant, so let's go take a look. Probably what we just caught. Uh, yeah, with the mantis. Think you can make anything with... Oh, hello, it's you again. And someone new. Wang Pang, the master chef. Hello, everyone. This is Yui from... The yeah. NDC station. Today I present a new program called Challenge the Chef, featuring Vincent Yamaoka. It's been a long time, everyone. I'm Vincent Yamaoka. The champion of the last season was Boncho, who was praised by Vincent. He will be the defending champion today. The defending champion? That's going to be a boost to his... Uh, <laughs> not his ego, but to his pride. And this season's first challenger is Wang Pang. Also, don't we need, don't you need our agreement on starting a show like this? Or at least yeah. give us notice. It's my honor to be here. I'm Wang Pang from Hong Kong. Nice to meet you, Wang Pang. All right, we've met the contestants. Now let's begin the show. 
You two will compete with dishes on the same day at the same place on a given theme. Vincent Yamoka will judge your dishes. Today's theme for the contest is... Chinese cuisine. Oh well, this isn't good. Yeah, it... <laughs> Bancho did not like being asked to make that last time. And well, Wang Pang has an advantage in that. As you know, Chinese cuisine developed many different cooking styles in its long history. When we talk about Chinese cuisine, many will think of stir-fried meat and vegetables, but not, not all. There is more than that. This time, you two will compete for the dish you know, using fish. Give me a Chinese-style di fish dish. May the best chef win. I heard of you and your reputation, Bancho, but I will beat you with a fabulous recipe from Hong Kong. Also slash, uh, side note, hashtag free Hong Kong, fuck the CCP. <clears throat> and with the political stuff on this, yeah, done for today. Oh wow, Wang Pang just issued an official challenge. This should be interesting. You know the rules, folks. We will come back in two days to broadcast the intense competition between the two contestants in real time. Stay tuned and see what transpires in today's challenge to chef. Or don't you mean uh, <laughs> that uh, the day after tomorrow's episode? <laughs> I, I, I can't really much call claim to be uh, really. I I can't really blame. Really, I can't really claim to be apolitical with that thing over there. Well, yeah. Let's see. Are you okay? You're not familiar with qui uh, Chinese cuisine, are you? I do not need to be Chinese to compete with him. I will use a Chinese culinary style. But with a type of fish they have never tasted before. Let's not go overboard, Bancho. I can teach him a lesson with an ordinary fish. Or ordinary dish. <laughs> made from ordinary fish. If you say so. Bring me the ingredients I want in two days. Chinese cuisine is no problem, I just need stargazers, wheat, olive oil, and eggs. Okay, we've got eggs, we've got wheat. Stargazers, though, back is that. Uh, you forgot. Uh, oh, s stargazer fish. We got those already. And, okay, we can just get eggs tomorrow. So for now... Let's see. Ooh, that sells for a lot. Uh, of course, that's the one that from the boss. Mantis shrimp meat is placed on eggplants, seasoned with soy sauce and cooked on low flame for a long time. The chewy texture of the meat and the soft texture of eggplants go well together. Okay. I can't say I've eaten... I, I can't say I've eaten eggplant lots. Uh, zucchini, pretty much. Uh, I that decently often, but not eggplant, I think. Let's get this one. Bancho can reveal his inner firebender again. Okay, not enough to research anything else. Now, let's see. Let's serve the winning of the day. Yep. Um, yeah, if we enhance that, we can't sell that. So let's do... Let's do two of these. So we need 22. I'll try to aim for 30 dishes each day. A vegetable sushi. Uh, let's enhance that. I do sort of wonder what he is putting on top at uh, just before the end there. It's not supposed to keep this fish connected to the rice, I'm thinking, since otherwise it would be put underneath. So maybe some sort of glaze? Mm. Yeah, no oh, wait, it's only a few. Two sheets, no. uh, let's serve four of these. And then last but not least... Um, some of this. It's actually, hmm. There. That should be enough, I think. Okay, how's the staff doing? Uh, let's upgrade Raptor a bit. 
since he has to do more serving, since Nino will be stationary doing drinks. I see what's happening. Look at Nino's appeal. Yeah. Hmm. It's low compared now to his a... serving. Now, I think appeal is something that pulls in uh, more customers on a day, potentially. It, the game hasn't, ex it hasn't explained what appeal does. But it's not yeah. really that much lower than Billy's. Hmm, true. We should look at that at some point. Hmm. Let's see, if we train you, you can become like, better like, at is cooking. It? Cooking, self-explanatory. Serving, self-explanatory. Procure, also self-explanatory. Appeal? If you're not giving not context to that one. Yeah. Uh, let's do one more here. Okay, training. You get 10% chance of increasing the number of plates. Okay. No. There we go. Can we actually afford that? No, we can't afford that. Okay, everyone else, you get sent out on this patch. We are low on salt. Oh, hello. Curry block. Okay. We're going to send most of you out to get that. So we can get a good amount already. Then salt. Uh, Billy can go for salt. He's probably salty about being replaced. And the last two for mayo and sesame. Fish and mayo, I don't get. Like, is that actually a thing? Apparently. I guess I'm probably... I probably... <laughs> I'm probably guessing that if you ever put uh, mayo directly on just uh, normal sushi, like with the rice and such, uh, I forget what the, the specific is called of it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure if you just went to a sushi restaurant and put mayo on the sushi, uh, the, the chefs would probably kill you, but it's probably used in a dish somehow. I think, I think they're more likely to kill you if you put ketchup on it. Ooh, uh, ooh. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's definitely uh, Jason. Okay. Oh, nope, wait, let's I can see up. why he's good cook. Yeah, he's good with knives. Let's <laughs> cook with machete. He takes so much less time with all of this. And he only gets a small amount of the, in the tips. But it's still better than getting a low review where... Yep, Nino got that. It's going to stick around for more of this, so... Low on Basabi. Okay, let's see, that's eight, nine, uh, six, fifteen, twenty-five, twenty-five. I have not seen any negative remarks there yet. Six, fifteen... Okay, twenty-three customers there. Oh. Wait, oh. Okay, I think I get it now, finally. The likes is the amount of customers as well. I'm... At least I think that's what's going on with it. Because everyone who visits gives a like. Or everyone who visits and is served well gives a like. Yeah, okay. and... We did well. Yeah, half... Half of the... the yeah, half of the special, which is pretty good, I'd say. Oh yeah, for... Last time they had... Time was a event, after all. So it was yep. themed for bonuses. Still stormy. Good. Hello, Sato. Oh. 
Yeah, you what? Uh, oh, a new greeting sound? Nope, it's from the new game I'm, <laughs> I'm, uh, I am playing these days. Was that supposed to be the noise of a Gyarados? Mm. What game are you playing? It's Gyo. Or Gyo. Oh. A, a game raising digital fish. <laughs> you feed them and keep them happy and they grow and mutate. Yeah, totally not Pokemon, but only fish. Mm. That sounds somewhat familiar. <sighs> Lately I'm feeding Gyo as soon as I get up in the morning. Come to think about it, I completely forgot to do that today. Wait a sec. Yep. I, I, I only just now noticed his phone is a Pokedex. Yeah. Oh. Uh, wait. Is he playing Tamaguchi on his phone? Yeah, it sounds like a mix of Pokemon and Tamagoshi. Tamagoshi? Whatever. Can oh, I have uh, Digimon started out? Yeah. Now I'll give it a snack. <laughs> Look, Yayo is satisfied. Why don't you try it yourself? I shared the app with you using Share with Friends. You'll be able to experience something fun besides just catching fish. But that's it. Apparently. It's... Yayo... Gyao... I'm guessing that's how you supposed to pronounce it. It's a digital fish that keeps you company in your mobile phone. Feed it and make it happy, and you can see it mutate into ver a variety of new creatures. Take care of your digital fish. Uh. Uh, if it falls ill, give him a shot. Also remember to turn off the light at night so that he can have a good night's sleep. <laughs> yeah, this is Tamagotchi, but more complex. If a warning icon shows up, check his hunger and affection levels. If there's no issue, but he's still calling you, some discipline might be necessary. Wait, it can actually phone us? If you go to options and turn on notifications, you'll get updates about the status of Yao, even without turning on your smartphone. Make sure to check up on him. Hmm? Some kind of email is here. Vincent has been added as a contact. Should I check it? Yep. Oh, hello. Shark storm party. Hello, folks. This is the Blue Hole Tourism Committee. What is the pink ribbon on the party? Uh, probably to with that that's the same ribbon that was on the dishes that we would get would get ordered a lot so i'm guessing that's just a party sign local okay this looks so out of place <laughs> let's see according to the national weather service a storm will hit the blue hole hard for three days and amazingly people have started to report sightings of a variety of sharks roaming the coastal areas the committee decided to utilize this opportunity and release a new tourism product it's called the storm shark party <laughs> so, totally not Sharknado. <clears throat> Dear store owners, do not miss the opportunity to rack up revenue. We have special breeds of sharks sighted as well. Blue Hole uh, Tourism Committee. If there's going to be a, a tornado, I'm not going into the damn water. <laughs> For one, yeah, Dave could yeah. get sucked up. Oh, it's... God. Uh, I mean, we should probably how... gra grab some... Oh wait, we can't go to the farm? There yeah, we can. Oh, there you go. Well, we go to pick up some eggs, apparently. Yep. <clears throat> or at least the chickens should have laid eggs now. Yep, there we go. Yep, it, I just realized. Don't we have plenty of shark meat already? Yeah, we should have a good amount, yeah. Oh, helium. I've been... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to make bank of a Bruce. Oh, good gods. I've, I can feel the dollar signs popping up on our eyeballs here. <laughs> okay. Time to feed the kitty. She's totally not uh, <laughs> trying to guilt trip us with those big old eyes. So I forget how you call these uh, breeds of cats. It's more in the... Like I said, a lot of cats are bastards, as in they carry the, gene the, the genes for a lot of uh, specific uh, coat patterns and such. So I'm not sure how what Momo would be called, but I think the little guy and his... Mo or their mother, not making presumptions, 
Those are, I think, are closer to tabbies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it wants uppies. Aww. <laughs> uh, okay, that's just adorable. Oh, good gods. Let's check on the fish. Oh, almost 200% capacity. Okay. Where did, where did we get so much clownfish from? I'm pretty sure we didn't catch it, man. Yeah. Okay. All of those. Or did they breed a lot more since there's so much more space or something? Oh, robbery and probably more of them breeding? Just look at the screen. Yeah, just so much freaking fish. It, it, it's almost like those old school screensavers. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm going to guess that if if there's only a little space, that only a few will breed or something. Let's, let's try to keep four of each still. And we'll see if that happens again. But I would not be surprised if they have more space that will just go mad with breeding. Bunch of these. Yeah, we should be good with uh, fish or whatever kind of fish that we have here for a good long while. Oh, we've only got one of you and only one Lagoon Trigger. Okay. Hmm. Yep. Actually, it's... Uh, yeah, these expansions are pretty cheap, and if they have more space, it means they're breeding more, then they're definitely a good investment. Oh, yeah. And we are... As I said, they should definitely stop saving up the sharks for the event. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we should upgrade them as much as possible. I have as many as them ready for that day. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Barracudas. Yeah, no, not there. There. Scads. Uh, yeah, let's leave four. These bastards that evaded us for so long because we couldn't find the, the limestone caves. It's plenty of room still here. Uh, yeah, there. There. Greens. There. Okay. Comb jellies. Okay, that's that. Two oh. left. Oh, bloody heck. I just looked at the time and feel like... Already? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm feeling that, that it's only going so well for us. I don't want to stop. Okay, maybe we should do a few more night dives. Uh, <clears throat> we should do a few more night dives to get breeding pairs of sharks and such. And hello there, Jess. How are you doing today? A little yes. Uh, Lovely to see you. You're doing well, I hope. Let's see. What a lucky day yesterday. I probably won't see giant shrimp like that again. Let's see from Lil. Yes, I may have just woke up from my nap. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Diamond is as high as it will go. Okay, we need to res research seven more recipes. Get uh, fi almost 500 more followers. Okay, yeah, this is endgame stuff. And something with a taste of 370. Okay, yeah, that is going to take a long time. If we get like 20 people each night, it's going to take a month to get uh, that much. Let's see. We are both to hit big with the uh, shark party. Yeah. 
So I, I said, I would not be surprised if he somehow hit all those scores or almost just from that party alone. Yeah, I find that doubtful. Let's see, an unrealistically yeah, large mantis frame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Up here. Yeah. Again, I would not be surprised if that happened. I doubt it, but I would not be surprised. Okay, just tag all of these off. A new spiny seahorse. It has many thorns on its body and grows up to 15 to 17 centimeters. Can be found anywhere in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Okay. And um, yeah, we might as well take a look at this. Let's see. Uh, okay, it can develop into all sorts of these. We even get cards for that, it seems. Okay. Uh, nothing is available at the moment because it's still a little uh, tadpole. Okay. Well, with that, um, actually we can go straight to this to the village. Okay, and see how far we can go <clears throat> into the the glacial passage. Let's see. It's already making puns. Anything new here? Nothing new here. Okay. Let's head on over to the portal, and then we go in and see what's on. Let's see. No. Let's see. Okay. Only quest that we have at the moment from here is to kill some spider crabs, and we can do that on the way out. Okay. Now, we can move the... Did that giant climb in the background move on the left? Oh yeah, it has been moving now and then. Me <laughs> okay. I've, I've been completely missing that each time. I... <laughs> I've been meaning to comment on that several times, but uh, we keep get, I keep getting distracted. Okay. Catch a few of these for the farm. Let's see, a lot of ammo that they give us up here. Or down here. Well, I should, uh, I should pick out that rock using the crowbar from, uh, <clears throat> from the Cobra. The Cobra bar, maybe. Back here, you. There we go. Okay. Let's. There we go. Okay, that kept it wedged up. How did that get in there then? Any earthquakes? Tiny bit of slowdown. Amazing! Divine tree fruit has unbelievable energy. You just melt that thick, <laughs> that the thick ice wall. Well, let me go down again. Yeah, it's too cold, by the way. I could kill for a hot bowl of miso soup from Banjo Sushi. Is is cold going to be a mechanic in this area? I would not be surprised if you need a bit of soup. Yeah, the suit is maxed out at the moment. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, hello, big mouth. What big teeth do you have? And, oh, you need a little squid type? Oh. <laughs> what are you, a bloody sea pelican? Uh, underwater pelican? I almost said sea pelican, but pelicans are already at the sea. Get in the back, you. There. The pelican eel. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's a dead end, too. You're almost there. I should check the surroundings first. Okay. The surroundings, which include these little th things. Come on. What are these? Sort of... Angel squids? 
Dumbo octopus? <laughs> okay. Oh my, that's a thing. Dumbo octopus. Due to the ears that they named them Dumbo. And well, we've all, we already know what this is. Get it back here, you blobby. Okay, it's, it seems it, it seems that if a fish it doesn't have enough space to reach the maximum length of the chain, that it will just bounce off and get a freebie, probably to prevent you from uh, just trapping fish against a wall or something. Possibly. No. Photo. Hello. Hmm? I was say I would have been surprised if its icon changed when you get to the surface. Probably because they. <laughs> What you typically see of pictures of blobfish is when they've been brought up from the deep, when, well, their kind, their bodies kind of uh, not explode, <laughs> because it's not kept under pressure. <clears throat> it's cold here, and the lens collected frost. Mm. Need to clean the lens first. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, they did not need to do this, but it is kind of funny. Okay. Is that good enough? Nope. Zoom out. Better. Yeah, it, it can be a bit annoying with that. Okay. We should probably also check out that giant mural that we found last time. So where are you? There you are. Out of range. Yep. There. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so not so much a dead end, since we can go this way. More puzzles, I'm guessing. Uh, how are we on time? Uh, 13 minutes? Mm, yeah, just about. Oh, okay, light puzzle. The ice wall is blocking the way. I think you can melt it using the divine tree fruit device. It's going to be a long name if we keep using uh, that. Bloody heck. Getting hmm. pumped here. For, for, now I'm getting more eager for our second stream of this. Now I'll leave it up to you if more Dave the Diver or Valheim or something else. I, I'm starting to lean towards this, for this is a bit more relaxing. Yeah. Okay. Driving its fishy laser. And, yeah, I feel like Valheim is probably better when you're not about to prepare for a vacation. Okay. Okay, it turns the same way each time. Okay, now we can go get that fish statue. 300 isn't that much anymore for us, but it's still a nice amount. Okay, and that, that's a nice little thing. It doesn't... <clears throat> it doesn't turn in a way that would send the light back. Since that would be, well, a bit useless. Okay. more and there we go we are running the risk that we are freeing the gudan though not with this nice the ice wall has melted let me go inside but we do need to investigate what is going on here 
So that is a risk that has to be taken. Yeah. And then a mural. There's a mural here as well. I should take its picture. Yeah, I, sh yeah, I should take its picture and show it to Dr. Bacon. Wait. Okay, that looks very much like a sort of Atlanta situation. Okay, zoom out. Oh, it's a little yeah, bit in the corner. Yeah, I, I was thinking, is that a little bit in the corner gonna affect it? Apparently, yes. Okay. I see another blobfish here. Can hear you. <laughs> Pull the fish. One more. Okay, are you have about 160 health or something? There's another one up there, but I'll just leave it be. Okay, this time we have mirrors that we can move along a track. Oh yeah, that, that needs to be defrosted. Hmm. The mirrors here are not well aligned. Is there a way to align them? Okay, luckily frost Seems isn't like being an issue. Or outside of the camera. Okay. Let's put this in there, and then we start moving the mirrors. Okay. I'm guessing these mechanisms might have been put in place to keep the yeah <laughs> keep the mutant fish out now, the, the reason that wasn't a tutorial about the vortex or at least not that, that we can find back in the system is because it was a mission not a tutorial okay <clears> hey <throat> give you a spin Now then, there and okay, there and then the upper one we move to the right. It'll block this. Oop. It'll block for a bit, but then it'll uh, melt the wall there. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Good. The ice wall blocking the exit has melted away. Or melted away. Now, if I go past it, I will find a door to the glacial area. Phew, it's cool. This this place is really cool. I should use a <laughs> I could use a cu hot cup of green tea right now. Okay, it might be in the next area where cold might be an issue, but it will probably be sent up to the surface to get a solution from Cobra for that. <coughs> solution from Cobra, not for. Blech. Oh, this is dark. This place is too dark to see anything. Right, I hit this fruit and it glowed. I should use this. Okay, uh, what is that? Wait. Why do we get the feeling this is going to reveal something? Uh, oh, uh, hello, King Long. Uh, Long time no, no. see. That's, I don't think that's long. Oh, oh that's Dashe. Oh, okay, that. Oh, that's. And now he's breaking. Now he's broken free. Okay, that is what's been causing uh, the quakes. Uh, what is that thing? The Gadon is humongous. Yeah, Gadon, not Gudon. It's humongous. It's almost unreal. Oh, it's thankfully chains. Let me escape this place running the currents. 
Yeah, there's only one chain holding it back now. Okay. Well, that's certainly an answer. Uh, A lot of heck. Is it going to is is he going to break free? Phew. The thing shouldn't be able to escape since it's so big. Now I just have to get out with this current. Uh yeah, giant Gadon. Uh Jinxed, Dave? No way. We're going to die if we get caught. Let's run away. But who is this we you keep saying, Dave? Ooh. I think I think all of the I think all of Dave has achieved too has gone a bit to his heads with him starting to use the royal we and such. That gets us real close to them. Okay, we're not using up oxygen. Oh, that's what that did. I was about to ask. Another one. Okay, why is it crawling after us and not swimming? It's, is its tail broken or something? I, I guess as a sort of punishment, I'm comparable to crippling legs, they would cripple uh, tails? Something doesn't seem right. I think it's preparing an attack. What do, I, what do I do? Wait, that's a divine tree fruit. It hates light, so if we hit that... Uh, yeah. Oh. Okay, need to line it up and then hit it. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, let's let's keep getting the hell out of here. I <laughs> I think we can deal with a bit of cold as long as we can get the way. Oops, uh, it's a dead end. There's no way out. My goodness. Oh. Oh wait. Oh, he he knocked him. Phew, that was a close call. I think it fainted. A path opened up after we hit it, you know, it's earlier. Or they hit the wall. That's right away before it awakes. As, as they've grown self-aware enough to know that he's in a game or something now, and that's why he's t saying he's talking in Wii up. Yeah, here we go again. It's awake already? What a disgusting creature. Let's run away. I think you'll find swimming to be more effective. Ew. Okay, yeah, it's really close now. Ow. Can't make as big a movement as before with these. Ow. Okay, we are we are losing oxygen now, and when we get hit, swimming to it's too cramped for him to actually swim normally. Probably bonk. Okay, uh, that thing is going to come down here, either through its own use or gravity. Is it, did I lose the creature? What is this vibration? Uh, yeah, it's coming down. Yeah, one way or the other, with <laughs> extra fury and bonk. I shouldn't let my guard. I shouldn't let my guard down. The current is flowing back to the right. There should be a way out nearby. That's one way before it awakens. Uh, don't think we're going to be that lucky, Dave. Yep, here it comes already again. Ow. Yeah, bro. No, we are losing. Are we losing? Yeah, we are losing oxygen from time. So, yeah, need to avoid hitting any of. 
Kill. Up there's Oop. ah, there's light. I'll be able to escape that way. Let's hope that doesn't lead straight into the village. Otherwise, I think. For, uh, uh, otherwise, they're going to be not happy with us. And then we should be too deep to be near the village. Okay. Oop. I managed to escape. I must barricade the entrance before the Gadon comes after me. Good. Now if I not that pile of stones. Come on. It's, it's digging its way through as we speak. Hmm. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, that wasn't going to be enough. Oop. Wait. Who, who grabbed us there? I don't know who that, well, that was. Have you been looking up spoilers? No, I recognize the arm. Uh, Suwam, you're, you're actually useful for once? Yeah, it was Suwam. I recognize his code right away. The heck are you doing down here? Swam? <laughs> Humans are not that trustworthy. You would have already been eaten by the deep sea fish if it were not uh, if uh, were I not here were I not there for you. I admit it this time. Thank you, Suwam. <laughs> well go and find out what's happening in the glacial area as you promised me, human. That you don't have any questions at all about the giant fucking hand that came out of the wall. Uh, I didn't I didn't imagine this place would be this cold. I will freeze to death if I go down further. Oh, you helpless, lum help yeah, helpless human. You do not have any gear or clothes to protect your body from the cold, then? Well, I must first return to Cobra and ask him. He may have something to protect me from the cold. Well, we have no other option, then. Let's return to the village. You see that huge mirror in the back? Activate it again, and you will be whisked away to the village. You pull the right lever, I will pull the left one. Uh, what are you doing? Grab the lever on the right, human. They are so going to get grabbed here. They are in reach of the hands. All right, we pull these levers at once on my signal, okay? It's more push than pull. There we go. It's going to be a new fast travel point. Good. Now we can access this place straight from the village. Go back to the village and find a way to yeah, stand the cold, human. <laughs> Humans are so fragile. This is something unthinkable for a superior warrior like me, Suwam. Your tail has been shaking for some time now. Are you really all right? What are you talking about? You are clearly mistaken, human. Let's return to the village for now. Chew. I guess Krill went up my nose. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that, that sounds unpleasant. Okay. Now you came. How was the glacial area? Um, there was a huge gadon in the passage, so... The glacial area is too cool for me to explore. I need something. Ah, you're real equipped to explore the area for sure with your light diving suit. Our people wear clothes from divine tree fruits and can withstand the cold. You, you can make clothes out of those? I am curious. Can your people tailor the divine tree fruit clothes? Can we just call them divine clothes for short? Tailoring? Over or Dr. Bacon might know, may know how. You seem to have talent the trends. Take this cloth and ask your friends. Hmm. Divine clothes. I need to tailor it into a suit. It may protect me from the cold. Okay. And yeah, with that, let's head back to the boat and call it there for now. Yeah. Okay, but if yeah, that I'll really was Dashi. <laughs> okay, <laughs> if we have the time for it. Oh, yeah. There. For the chance, something can come up. 
Okay. Like we shouldn't be we shouldn't have to leave until after midnight, so we should we have plenty of time. And yeah, we can now go straight to the glacial area from here. Can we do yeah, the same from the boat? Yeah, and hopefully you'll be able to finish packing between now and next stream. For that's like two hours. Uh, yeah, but it should it's not that much. It's just small stuff like earbuds and such. Yep. All right. I forgot to put these in, but we can so keep our little mascots. So the odds for us for a second stream is good then. Yeah. Okay. Just no, bl no blind promises. <laughs> yep. Okay. Anything else? Oh. Uh, uh, hello. Are you one of the poachers huh? or something? <laughs> Clara? Laura? Uh, hello. Uh, shouldn't you be retired? What's going on? You're riding a raft. My name is Clara. I didn't expect to see a person on the sea in this storm. Have you seen a great white shark around here, young one? Nope, I've seen many sharks, but no great whites. That can't be true. Klaus, the enemy of my husband, must be around here somewhere. Wait. What traces lead to this place for sure? Hmm? Oh, I don't think that's the Laura Croft reference. Who then? Oh, and that's dinner call. Uh, is this a y'all reference or something? Maybe. That's it. Klaus is known to be sighted only on stormy nights. On a stormy night like, uh, just like this, it took my husband's. That was 36 years ago. It will appear here for sure. Everything leads me to this place. By the way, I've, I've dived several times and I noticed the train changed every time. No, you're not mistaken. The sea around here is very confusing for newcomers. Gosh, I just don't have enough time to get used to it. Young one, can you find Klaus for me? Me? Yes, you. You're familiar with this place. I need to find it before the storm passes. Just locate it and I'll take care of the rest. Help this old lady, please. She looks desperate. Okay, all I have to do is just find it. All right, I will sweep the area. Oh, really? Thank you, young one. Just give me a holler when you find Klaus's hideouts, and it will come right to you. Okay. Uh, normally we would raid someone, but I should probably rush off for dinner, so for once, uh, no uh, raid then. So, we make a save. Yeah, uh, chapter 5, chapter 5, there. Okay. And save and return to title. And, yeah. Uh, I'll put it 50-50 on if we will stream Dave again after dinner. Uh, but we'll see what happens. For now, though, uh, yeah. Uh, more out of habit going here than anything else. But, uh, thank you, everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, uh, Crazy Jess, thank you uh, Glacier Boy, thank you Marco, and thank you of course Dirk here. You're welcome as always my friend, and thank you all for joining. And yeah, uh, if not later, then see you all this weekend, and until then, thank you all again for watching, and have a nice day, until then. Be safe everyone, and watch out for sharks. And Janica dance. <laughs> <laughs>